I'm Tuffy Stone, and this is my competition chicken brine that I use all over the circuit or whether I'm catering or cooking at home. I'm gonna share with you a brine recipe that I've been using since 2004, to be honest with you. And I, I was told a long time ago to give credit where credit's due. This recipe is really inspired by a really great chef named Alice Waters, who has a, a, a famous restaurant called Chez Panisse. But anyways, I've modified it a little bit, but if you've never used a brine before, for me, it was a little weird the first time I used a brine because we're literally gonna make a flavorful liquid and then we're gonna soak our meat in it. And that just seemed a little bizarre to me because I just hadn't had a lot of experience with brines, but uh, my brine recipe is not cooked at all. All the flavor development is gonna happen through osmosis and through the soaking of these ingredients. So to get the flavor that you want in this brine, we wanna make it 24 to 48 hours in advance. And, and all these ingredients are gonna soak together. Cause I started off in the French kitchen. I had to kind of back up a little bit, shut up, listen, uh, and learn some new things about barbecue. Cause I came into barbecue initially wanting to learn how to cook with fire with a lot of my, my French training. Over time, once I learned more about barbecue, I was able to bring in a little bit of my culinary background into my cooking for barbecue. And this recipe would be an example of that. It's gonna have uh, what the French call mirepoix, which is a uh, fancy French uh, for carrots, onions, and celery. Carrots, onions, and celery, some of the base ingredients for stocks and soups, and in this case, my brine. So we're gonna have carrots, onions, celery. We're gonna have a couple of fresh herbs. You wanna use Italian flat leaf parsley because of the flavors. We're gonna use some fresh thyme. Uh, we're gonna use some black peppercorns whole and some bay leaves and salt and sugar and water, and that's it. We're gonna mix it all up. There's no cooking involved. We're gonna put it in an ice chest or a refrigerator for about 24 to 48 hours before we utilize. So we're gonna start with six quarts of water and a cup and an eighth of kosher salt. The next ingredient is gonna be granulated white sugar, and we'll use one cup of white sugar. So what I like to do at this point is just take my whisk and I'm just gonna stir the water, the salt, and the sugar. Because it's not cooked, the mixing action is gonna be what helps the sugar and the salt dissolve. Next, we're gonna add two large carrots cut up into chunks that have been washed and peeled. I've got three stalks of washed and clean celery that I've chopped up. One half of a medium yellow onion chopped up. Three tablespoons of whole black peppercorns. Three large bay leaves. One bunch of Italian flat leaf parsley. And I'm just gonna tear it in half and throw it in there. And the last ingredient is one bunch of fresh thyme. So I'm just gonna uh, give this a stir with my whisk. So that's it for the recipe. We're gonna pop a lid on it. We're gonna put it in the refrigerator. We're gonna let it soak for 24 hours minimum through osmosis. Those flavors will come out in the water. When we go to use this brine, what it does, how it benefits uh, different cuts of meat like a chicken is this flavorful liquid, as we soak the chicken in there, will bring in all these flavors into the meat so that when we go to grill it or smoke it, you just get another internal uh, layer of flavor that just sets your barbecue apart.